I'm not an MD, uh, but through PubMed, I was becoming more educated first on all of the you know, superbug epidemiology that I missed over the last couple of decades, and also what kind of avenues of treatment that might be um, in store for Tom. So the first thing I went to do was to PubMed, and I put escape in there, and I spelled escape with a C, like I thought, and PubMed corrected me and said, did you mean escape <laughs> with a K? And I went, oh, and what's, th what's that? Well, it turns out the letters in escape, E-S-K-A-P-E, -E, each of those stands for a different superbug that is a, a serious threat to human health. And Tom's turned out to be the A, Acinetobacter bomanii. And so this one particular day when his eyebrows were twitching, I had the conversation with him, capital C. I said, honey, I know you're trying very hard to fight this thing. The doctors don't have any antibiotics left. And I need to know if you want to live. About a minute later, he squeezed my hand and really hard. So it was almost like he was trying to find his hand. And I knew he wanted to live, and I was great. I was just so excited. I, you know, fist pumped the air. Yes, yes. And I thought, what am I going to do now? I'm like, I'm not a medical doctor, right? So I did what anybody would do. I went home and I had the internet at my disposal, but not just Google. I had PubMed, <laughs> and I put words like alternative treatments, antimicrobial resistance, Acinetobacter bomanii into the search engine and up popped a paper that had alternative treatments for uh, Acinetobacter bomanii. And a couple of these hadn't been invented yet, but one was phage therapy. You know, you folks that work on PubMed, thank you, because I found JAMA papers from the 1930s on phage therapy. So I went back to PubMed and I made a list of researchers in the United States, knowing that we were running out of time. One researcher from Texas A&M, again, a total stranger, responded. And we um, administered phage intravenously um, after we first um, applied the, the Texas phages through the catheters in his abdomen. And um, three days after we applied them intravenously, he woke up from his coma, lifted his head off the pillow, and kissed his daughter's hand. If it wasn't for PubMed, <laughs> and if it wasn't for this global village of researchers from around the world, uh, many of whom are NIH-funded, um, he would be dead, and I would be um, you know, holding an urn instead of um, his hand.